Guys, so we have an urgent information coming out. The Interstellar that's heading towards Earth this coming November. Well, experts are saying that it could be nuclear powered. They also said that it could be an alien spaceship. And it's also emitting light. It's like having a headlights or high beam and stuff. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. I believe this is the same scientist, Loeb. He's putting out this information. He's saying that this thing has uh, some kind of light emitting right in front of it. And um, now he's saying that uh, it could be a nuclear powered. Hold on. Give me a second here. Okay. So this information came out August 21st, 2025. The Harvard scientists raising concerns about incoming Comet 3-1 at last, namely that it could be some kind of alien probe sent to study our solar system. It's now saying that the interstellar object may be nuclear powered. Once again, Loeb said he bases this hypothesis on July 21st image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope and shared by NASA. Now he said the image shows a glow on the front end of the interstellar as if it is emitting light. Alright, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. And um, This thing should be heading towards us possibly late November. It's not even going to hit us. I heard that it's going to be millions of miles away from earth atmosphere but we're gonna see what's going on with this story here do me a favor hit that like hit that subscribe for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 and for those of you that want to help and support the channel we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also the description box. Thank you again for your support. Now, the Bible says in the book of Revelation that there will be a great star falling from the heavens. And this star is going to slam earth. And the name of the star is Wormwood. Now, it's not no asteroid. It's not none of that type of stuff. But... Uh, the name star is a metaphor for angels. Angels. In the book of Revelation, uh, excuse me, in the book of Genesis, Satan has taken the third part of the stars from the kingdom of heaven, which are the fallen angels. All right, so the fallen angels. But um, again, star symbolizes is, uh, basically angel. Now, can this star be Wormwood? heading towards our region. Now, the Bible says in the last days, the Euphrates River will dry up and angels will be released. Now, these are spiritual beings, all right? So they have, you know, again, in the end time, they will play a huge role of Bible prophecy, all right? So we're going to get to all this news here, guys. And uh, I don't believe in aliens or UFO and ET, all that type of nonsense. Uh, I, again, I focus more of what the scripture says. I believe what the Bible says, the King James Version. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So it says that um, the 3 1 Atlas could be a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy, and the dust emitted from its frontal surface might be from dirt that accumulated on its surface during its interstellar travel. This cannot be ruled out, but requires better evidence to be vi viable. The theoretical physicist said in the recent blog, now appearing Wednesday on Elizabeth Vargas' report, Loeb again noted the unusual precise trajectory of 3-1 Atlas, which will get relatively close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Now it says here, at last, doesn't look like a random occurrence, Harvard scientists said. Now, the timing of its arrival is 
perfect for that, with a likelihood of 1 in 20,000, Loeb said. So we should observe it. It doesn't look like it's a random occurrence. Now, again, I don't know if you guys heard of Baba, the woman, the blind woman that put out many, she written down all these prophecies that the world is going to see. Uh, she passed away, I believe, in 1998. But uh, one of her prophecies supposedly is coming this year, November. And she said that there will be a new light, a brand new light that's going to appear in the night sky. And it's going to happen during a sporting event. And it's going to be broadcast live, this event. Um, the sporting events could be the World Series baseball game, uh, open stadium. It could be that. Now, again, I don't, again, I'm not saying I believe in none of this type of stuff. Again, I don't believe this prophets in these end times for the prophets were in the Old Testament. And now we are under a new covenant and that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are called to be disciples, not prophets. But, um, so many false teachers and so many false prophets Jesus warned to look out for in these end times. So again, all these stuff that is happening, all these, you know, so-called prophecy, I, again, I recommend people to stay away from all this. Now, I do talk about it uh, just to give you guys, uh, a you know, a good explanation of what the Bible says. Uh, I do believe that, you know, a star will fall from heaven. And I do believe that there will be uh, many false teachers and false prophets along with Antichrist spirit. You have to put on the whole armor of God and be very careful in these last days. There will be many, many of these things to come. Uh, many false teachers and many false prophets. So uh, try not to fill your mind with these, these things of the world. And uh, fill your mind with the word of God. So here's one of the latest pictures. It's really bright and everything. Um, the Bible says that uh, a great star will fall from the heaven. Now, I don't think it's a nuclear or an alien. The Bible says that uh, angels has fell from the heavens. The Bible never mentioned about an, uh, an ast astro not asteroid, but the uh, a nuclear weapon and stuff like that. Loeb advocates directing NASA's Juno probe to intercept the 3 1 Atlas for study. It also not a bad idea, he suggests, for the international community to get on the same page ahead of time in case alien inter intelligence does come knocking. You never know what type of intent it has. NASA says the 3 1 Atlas is a comment that does not pose a risk to the Earth. Its name derives from the fact that it is the third known interstellar object from outside our solar system. It was discovered by the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system. Okay, so again, guys, this is one of the latest breaking news updates. But uh, give me a second here. I want to see if I can find some more information. Big shout out to Raw's alert, but uh, he put out the information too. You wouldn't believe the comments box. People just making fun of this thing now. It's basically becoming a joke. But uh, it's just you know very sad that. We are being told there's an alien now. It's a nuclear. A, it could be a nuclear power. So Harvard scientists are now claiming that the interstellar space object that's on course for Earth could be nuclear powered. Loeb, a theoretical physicist at the Harvard University, has recently suggested that the interstellar object 3-1 at last may be nuclear powered. However, NASA maintains that the object is a comet and poses no risk to Earth. Alright, so this thing is going to be far away. Far, I mean, 
it would be so out there. I mean, more than 10 million miles, possibly more than 20 million miles away from Earth atmosphere. Loeb hypothetical. So in a blog post and interview, Loeb highlighted what he calls unusual behavior and an unnaturally fine turn trajectory that will take the object relatively close to several planets, including Mars and Jupiter. His theory includes the following points. A central light source analyzing images taken by the Hubble Telescope Space Telescope in July of 2025. Loeb noted a glow at the front of the interstellar. He argues that this light is not merely reflected sunlight and may indicate that the object is producing its own power. So it's probably carrying some big massive turbo. <laughs> so <laughs> nuclear power to achieve the necessary luminosity. Loeb speculates that a nuclear power source may be at work, possibly powering a spacecraft. He noted that other natural power sources like a small black hole or a fragment from a supernova were likely were highly unlikely. Potential alien technology. While acknowledging the need for more evidence, Loeb has, has publicly raised the possibility that Atlas is not a natural object but an alien probe sent to explore our solar system. Does he have any evidence to back that up? Does he have any evidence to back that up? The aliens, they just come here to take pictures of the solar system. I mean, how do you know? You spoke to them over the phone? 1-800-GALAXY-ALERT? The vast majority of the scientific community does not support Loeb's speculation. So there's a lot of experts out there that uh, they don't go by Loeb's stuff. They say, man, this man has lost, has lost his mind. Classified as a comment, NASA has officially character, uh, categorized the interstellar as a comment due to its icy nucleus and visible dust cloud or coma. No risk to Earth. Both NASA and other astronomers have stated that Atlas possess no threat to our planet as this trajectory will bring it no closer than about 150 million miles. Criticism of Loeb claims, journalist Ross Cohart noted that Loeb's claim are not on, excuse me, are not widely shared among astronomers who sees his theories as inflammatory and lacking sufficient evidence. Boom. Bingo. That's the key word. That's the key word. Lacking sufficient evidence. So Loeb is just going by his own imagination. It might be this or it might be that. It could be them coming to, um, you know, to to see our solar, our solar system. This is all in his imagination. There's no evidence to back this up. It's just his imagination. Which is very sad because we're talking about someone. Again, we're talking about someone. One of the top uh, scientists that uh, many, many, many people's relying on, and he's coming with these imagination stuff. It's just very concerning. You know, you're supposed to be well professional and uh, not assume or believe in things that is coming out of your mind. Natural explanation. NASA's Hubble images revealed a normal teardrop shaped cocoon of dust being ejected from the comet as it was warmed by the sun behavior that is consistent with other comets. Now, key detail about Atlas. Number one, discovery. The object was discovered on July 1st, 2025 by Atlas Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Glass Alert System Survey Telescope. Number two, interstellar origin. origin. It is the third interstellar object ever discovered after Oumuamua in 2017 and uh, Boresov in 2019. Number three, trajectory. The object is on a 
hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is simply passing through our solar system and will continue its journey into interstellar space. Number four, timeline. It is expected to make its closest approach to the sun around October Halloween. Near Halloween, October 2025. All right. So that's where we at, guys. What are your thoughts? Leave comments down below. I heard this many times. People talk about Planet X. People talk about Nibiru. People talk about all these things. You know, the Bible says that, you know, people will have these imagination stuff that they're going to believe their own imagination and just feed it to the people. A lot of them we've seen, we've seen on YouTube, a lot of so-called prophets. I got a word from God. And he said, starting today, there's going to be Planet X shaking the world and this and that. But it never happened. In the book of Jeremiah, God tells Jeremiah, these people claim that I gave them prophecy. I never, uh, I never spoken to them, and I never given them any prophecy. You know, basically, these people, what they doing is they're mocking our Lord and Savior. They're mocking God, and everything just comes out from their mind. They stay, you know, they watch the news and then they think about the news. <gasps> I got something, honey. Write this down. Write it down right now. We gotta write it down before I forget. Number one. If God show you a vision, you will not forget because it's recorded in your mind. It is recorded in your hearts. So if you need someone to write it down, obviously, it's just you thinking of stuff. Anyway, this is where we are right now. Be careful with the false prophets and the false teachers in these end times. They are rising oh, and they are in the platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Later. Peace.